your boy DTV coming at you with another video from England. This time I'm going to be doing my England all time 11. Going to be a bit controversial now. Just to save some stuff, we're going to be using my 4 3 3 formation, which means two wingers, two wing backs, three in the middle. Simple as. There's no midfield attacking, no midfield defending. It's just three central midfielders. Simple as. If you want me to do another one with a 4 4 2 formation, I will. In fact, I'll actually include that in this video as well. But let's get right, right into As it. you can see, here is my lineup. The QR code to do your own one is up there if you want to use that for Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Tag me in if you do. My uh, things will be down below in the description. Uh, but yeah, uh, starting off with goalkeeper, we've got Peter Shilton in goal because obviously he's you know, the best goalkeeper for England that we've ever had, to be fair. Uh, your classic keeper, your proper old school keeper, keeps up, just commands the goal, you know, just commands it. Love him, love him. Pickford, if we win the Euros, might be within a shout, but for now, it's Chilton. Move on to right back, as you can see, there's two names there. Carl Walker slash Gary Neville. Personally, it's a 50-50. You can interchange these no matter what. If Walker brings back uh, the Euros this year, though, different story. Well, I might have to come back and revisit, revisit that. If uh, if we do win something with uh, Walker, then obviously he uh, beats Neville to the punch and has done here, only by a slight margin, but Gary Neville will be my backup for him. Uh, in defence, I've got Bobby Moore because everybody knows that classic pitcher. World Cup, 66. Got to have him. He'll be the captain of this team, of course. Rio Ferdinand next to him. I think Rio Ferdinand is probably the best modern centre-back in his generation. And going forward, I think he's everything you could have in a, in, in a centre-back. I don't think many people would disagree. John Terry is there as well as like a third option if you were to do like a five at the back. Then obviously Terry will make it in there as well. He's a bit of a shout out there to John Terry because he does need a, his name mentioned when it comes to this kind of stuff. And of course, on the left is Ashley Cole. Nobody's going to deserve this credit or argue about that. Of course not. Ashley Cole was probably the best left back and probably still is the best left back in most people's minds. Uh, period in the world, never, never, let alone England. <clears throat> Into midfield. Of course, we've got the three that nobody could figure out during that golden generation. Skulls, Gerard Lampard. That's all you have to do is just start it like this. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, guys. Mr. Broly, Wally with the Broly. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Sven, come on. Oh, Skulls, Gerard Lampard. Of course, there you go. I'd probably have Gerard sitting a bit more. Jude Bellingham is underneath there because I believe, I don't want to say this now, I'm a, I'm a established boy, black country boy myself. He literally used to live a mile and a half down the road that way. <laughs> In fact, uh, his house is behind. his mum and dad storage in the house, but still, he will be a future and he will be in this lineup five years' time. Garen, guaranteed. <clears throat> so I just wanted a little mention for him there. First, I think Phil Foden might have a shout, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, the Skulls, Gerald Lampard, of course, most people would put that there, and so I right because, yeah. <laughs> Dave Beckham on the right because Beckham's probably our best right midfielder we've ever had. The most prolific and. Uh, Probably the most famous <laughs> we've ever had in our squad. In, in, we've ever had in our squad ever, Mr. David Beckham, with a lot of controversies, um, a lot of hate in the past as well. But obviously, I think a lot of people would agree it's probably our best right midfield we've ever had, or right wing midfield right wing we've ever had in this company period. On the left, I've got John Bards because a lot of people always seem to talk about John Bards as a central midfielder, which he did do later on in his career. But he was on the left side for quite a long time of his career, and I would put him there because let's be honest, we haven't really had that many left winger, left midfielders that have actually been pretty decent or that good. Um, Saka does not get in this. Um, if you think Saka should be in this, you need to go get your head checked. He hasn't won anything yet for club or country. Uh, just, just just, thinking, has he won a league FA Cup? Not to my knowledge, if he has, someone's going to pick, uh, pick, pick up on that and put it in the comment section. My editor, George, is an Arsenal fan, so he'll probably flash on your screen in a little bit and tell me if I'm wrong about Bakayo Saka, but I don't think he, he gets into the squad. George, let me know, which I'm going to have to leave a pause now for him to tell me. Obviously, cut this out, George. <laughs> there you go. If he did, he was there. If not, it would just be a quick thing back to me doing, you know, continuing on from here. But yeah, John Barge on the left and Harry Kane up front because I believe he's the uh, England, well, he, not believe, he is England's top goal scorer. Um, ever. <laughs> I would say Gary Lineker kind of had a very good shout there because um, the next man I'm going to talk about, Wayne Rooney, um, did an interview pretty recently saying who's a better goal scorer than himself, Wayne Rooney, and he did say Lineker was, so it was very different, but maybe if he were, you know, 
Sheer obviously he was in the conversation too. But Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney's there just because he needs to shout as well because Wayne Rooney's probably there. One of our best, you know, 2004 and 16, also for that ankle injury, that foot injury. I think uh, we would have had two Cubs to win his name, if you ask me. But yeah, that's my 11. Right, here's my 4-4-2 formation for the old time 11 for England. Shilton and Gold, Walker, Ferdinand, Moore, Cole, Beckham on the right, Scholes, Gerrard, sorry Lampard, you just... Uh, now you guys know my uh, my, my uh, top one to three of those. Skulls top set, Gerard second, Lampard last. There you go. <laughs> That's what I would do. Barnes on the left. Rooney and uh, Kane up front. Shearer and Luke obviously get a shout as well as Terry and Gary Neville. And Frank Lampard in the midfield too. There you go. Let me know yours down below in the comment section down below like I said. And I'll catch you guys next time. Love you guys. Mwah. Sorry guys.